Hi, welcome all to Science Teaching Academy. Today, uh, means today in this class, here is an interesting topic, cell biology. The students who are preparing for microbiology, cell, uh, all biology students, everyone want to know about cell biology because it's essential. It's a unit of life. It's amazing, right? Just look around you. Your, uh, when you walk around, an ugly lizard in the garden, or uh, just look around a plant which is sprouting a plant which is sprouting from uh, that seed or an amoeba or a bacteria which infects you everything is united by one thing called cell yeah i am right so cell is the structural unit of life and it is the smallest unit of life and cell when you say about cell it has it should have three functions right from prokaryotic to eukaryotic cell it consists of three major criteria the first criteria it's structurally organized for metabolism each and every cell is independent and in the case of prokaryotes and dependent in the case of eukaryotes like like uh, each music player in an orchestra coordinately involving for the entire rhythm of uh, music similarly cells coordinated themselves for the rhythm of life what's an amazing thing if you go deep into deep and in, deep the deeper things so, as I said, all the living organisms are united by one factor called cell. It's very clear in an evolutionary perspective that we are all came from one small initial pro-cell. Our mother is a single cell, right? Then, as I said, the second point is it should serve and respond to the environment. If any, envi any environmental changes occur, a uh, stimulus, for example, uh, if you keep, uh, if you touch a hot pan, what makes to connect your brain and come back to you? It's all the action of nerve cells. Similarly, every small and simple things which happens in the environment which is responded by cell. The third factor, the third criteria, the cell should be heritable instruction. Health should uh, contain the heritable instruction such as DNA or RNA, the genetic material which, which should have the potential to reproduce. The genetic content of the cell should develop into a multiple cells so we are all aware of how we form from father and mother like how gametes come assemble into a single cell called zygote and how that zygote develop into an entire body like us it all because the cell has the information to reproduce themselves the cell is capable of dividing itself and it becomes into a huge lot so a cell, a cell should typically have a typical cell should have face all these three criteria. Okay, fine. Cells is of amazing diversity, but and have different various functions. For example, consider a small cell, a small cell of a, a protista, a protozoa, to a large liver cell. In between that, there's a huge number of diversities there starting from the size of a uh, few 30 nanometer to the size of 3 millimeter in the case of frog egg cell in the case of frog egg cell 3 millimeter it's a huge size the cell have amazing diversity uh, i have listed some few uh, examples here consider a plant cell the plant cell itself is of 10 to 100 nanometer before going explaining about each cell i will say about the scale the black line which represents view by light microscope and the blue line is the view of electron microscope so microscopes play a very important role or a major role to know about the cell as the technology advances we are just a, we are coming across coming in to know about uh, the wonder of life the wonder of nature and the amazing beauty of cell by discovering its minute details see as I said, plant cell of 10 to 100 nanometer, the plant cell has some characteristic feature of uh, uh, organelles, chloroplast, mitochondria. About organelles, we will come to know within a couple of minutes or at, uh, for about 10 minutes. Okay, fine. And consider RBC, red blood cell or erythrocytes. It's of 7 to 8 micrometer. And a green alga. The green alga is of 5 to 6 nanometer. Why I'm just referring to a uh, human cell and to a algal cell see the size is about a few micrometer difference 
that's all but its its function is hugely varied consider an e coli a bacteria which infects you it's of 1 to 5 micrometer and even the bacteria infects a human cell but a virus is there to infect the bacteria itself that is about 200 nanometer these are called bacteriophages and hiv even hiv which in, it's a major disease we all know aids it's of 100 nanometer and very less uh, less than that of uh, hiv belongs to retroviridae family and very less than that of polio virus is of 30 nanometer so i have just listed the cells in a decreasing order descending order and each cell is dependent of one another and have just uh, wonder about how amazing the cells are differed from each other great when we talk about cells majorly we will say about two cells eukaryotic and prokaryotic that are the two major divisions of cell sir sir da cha pass okay 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 pass